Welcome to the Daily Slog News Review. In upbeat defense news, Prime Minister Netanyahu and President Obama resolved their bombing dispute with the Americans agreeing to attack Auschwitz. And then, in a prelude to the rockets from the south, the army introduced its latest war version, Ehud Gabi. While the former chief of staff protested that his alleged activities showed that he was well prepared to enter Israeli politics, and the recently crowned Miss Israel stated that her dreams were that peace would break out between Ashkenazi and Barak. And then the rocket war from Gaza renewed. The Israeli expectation is that within the next two to three rounds of fighting, we'll be at the point where every resident of the South has been interviewed and explained live how they feel. The Islamic Jihad clarified that there is no intervening quiet. It's just the hours between two and four. The Army is satisfied that the Iron Dome missile system also successfully intercepted any cuts to the defense budget in 2013. The Home Front explained the situation was complicated and that it would take several months to return the South to its natural, abandoned, and forsaken state. The defense establishment was unworried by the next round where missiles are expected to reach South Tel Aviv. At least it's still South, they noted. The enforced homeschooling did lead to some unexpected gains in academic achievement, and authorities considered extending the educational holiday until Passover. Upon their return, 8th graders had no problem with the question. Hamas fired five missiles at a cost of $5 each, and Israel fired five Iron Dome missiles at a cost of $50,000 each. What was the profit to Hamas? A short-lived Israeli Olympic Committee romance with the awesome mascot Bamba Baby ended in public ridicule. On Facebook, it was noted that in London, the awesome Bamba infant could be had for less than half the promised 100,000 Israeli shekel. The Olympic Committee defended its decision. We wanted a symbol that represented the Israeli athlete, an infantile crybaby, mostly sitting on the floor. Committee members claimed that they were under the influence of psychiatric pills prescribed by Big Brother shrink doctor Ilan Rabinovich, and when they got the munchies, it seemed like a great idea. The search for an appropriate replacement has so far turned up the Mitchell and Tire Man and the Pillsbury Doughboy. With the Israeli delegation now mascotless, they will be forced to train. Only now have they learned that the Olympic Games are like the Maccabi Games, except with athletes. In political news, in the Kadima leadership struggle, Tsipi Livni declined accepting the number two spot on Shaul Mofaz's list, claiming she would only settle for a realistic slot. President Shimon Peres opened a Facebook page, and the company's servers immediately crashed when constructing his timeline. His first comment was, Am I the only one noticing the disappearance of dinosaurs? Meanwhile, convict Moshe Katsav refused to undergo a DNA examination, claiming in his innocence, I didn't know D, I didn't know N, and I don't know A. The Big Brother reality show was rocked by charges of widespread prescription of mind-altering drugs. One participant even left the home still thinking it was a dog. Psychiatrists did agree that viewers of the series actually do require psychiatric drugs. Thanks for watching.